Hey guys, LEGO Sonic Fan 17 here, and I'm back with another Space Flight Simulator video. Today we will be playing the new challenge mode that was released about two days ago uh, with the brand new Space Flight Simulator update that adds a uh, asteroid and logos to like the uh, the buttons and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, now we've uh, jettisoned both the fairing in the first stage, and we're now entering a stable Earth orbit. Not yet, though. We have to deploy the solar panels first to get some power because we're going to run out of power if we don't do that. Well, there's no electricity in the game, but that doesn't really matter yet. Has anybody noticed that uh, they removed the ion engine from um, from the challenge mode? I mean, I guess that makes sense because the ion engine didn't really do any, like, heat damage. So, yeah, I guess step... Oh, there's my rendezvous method right there. It's very dizzying, I know. And I overshot the target, which makes it, like, really hilarious. Right there, I had to uh, lower my orbit so I could go faster than uh, the uh, target vehicle. Because, remember, in orbital mechanics, if, you, uh, if, if you're in a higher orbit, you will go slower. And if you're in a uh, lower orbit, you will go faster than your, um, than your target. Just always remember that, guys. If you're trying to rendezvous, just remember that advice. And there it is, the refueling station. We're uh, kind of time warping towards it because it's taking a long time to get there just with the RCS alone. And, oh, collision alert. Boop. <laughs> yeah, the RCS physics in this new update are really questionable. At first, I thought they were just for this update. Like, well, not for this update, but for this mode of the game to make it harder. But then I went to, like, a sandbox and they work the same way and i was like oh steph why <laughs> well i w w we've kind of done with the refueling process and now we're undocking from the space station turning off the rcs for that i should have changed the name because it said moonship but the moonship was you know this one with the uh second stage still attached to it and we're now going to the moon because that's where we're going to be landing on. We're going to be landing on three locations. Spoiler alert, we don't land on the Sea of Tranquility. <laughs> because I chose the locations that are like the closest to each other. And you can kind of see right there which locations I'm talking about. And we've now entered orbit. Uh, the closest locations are uh, Copernicus Crater. Uh, what else? Ocean of Storms, I think. Yeah, you, you'll see it right now uh, when we perform our deorbit burn. I might zoom in closer. Oh, look, there it is. You might see him. Uh, I think that's Ocean of Storms, uh, Tycho Crater, and Copernicus Crater. Oh, right there. I didn't actually mean to separate the stage. I tried to click the fuel tank to uh, transfer the fuel from the stage to like the, um, the uh, lander craft, but it didn't work. So, yeah. And this is a perfect opp opp <laughs> this is a perfect opportunity to talk about the new rock textures on the surface. I mean, I really like them, although I wish the rock texture like I wish like the individual little rocks had like collision, but you know, that would make the game extremely laggy. And we're now moving to our second location, but back to uh, what we were talking about earlier. Uh, yeah, or at least make the little rocks, like, block the landing legs or something like that. So it looks like the rocks are, like, in the foreground or something. Because they just look odd, you know, for the rocks to be, like, in the background and, like, the landing legs blocking them. I don't know if it makes sense, but we are now landing on our second location. And, yeah, I, I remember... Uh, Back uh, when I first played this, I landed in a section of Mars, completely off topic now, <laughs> and there were no rocks. So at first I, I thought, oh, maybe uh, maybe I'm playing in a different, oh, super inefficient, um, <laughs> super inefficient uh, launch profile there. I could have just immediately turned horizontally and done that. Anyway, I keep getting sidetracked by the video. I'm just going to close my eyes and not just look at the video. Okay, I'm closing my eyes. So you guys, you guys only know what's going on on screen. I don't even know what's going on anymore. I, I guess we already landed in Tycho Crater, didn't we? We probably already took off. And we're probably now on our way to the asteroid. Yeah, well, we hadn't taken off yet. Now we did. I just opened my eyes again. <laughs> What was I talking about? Oh yeah, there goes the um, the lander stage. Oh yeah, we were talking about Mars. Oh, there it is, spinning violently through space. 
We were talking about Mars. Yeah, there were no rocks in a section of Mars, so I thought I was playing in a sandbox mode, like in a mode before the update, like in a planet pack, and then I went there and I was like, oh, there, you know, there's rocks on the other side of the planet because I had a spacecraft on the other side of the planet that was landed there. And I noticed there were rocks and I was like, oh, so it might have just been that section of Mars that didn't have rocks. Or maybe I didn't see him because the, the sky on Mars in Space Flight Simulator, uh, it's really close to like the color of the ground. Steph, please change that because, you know, it's kind of, um, also it's kind of unrealistic because, you know. And we're now making our way to the asteroid. Well, we've been doing that and it didn't work. The asteroid wouldn't give me an encounter for some reason. And there we go. We just lowered our orbit with a lunar gravity assist. And that's when I decided, you know what, I'll just, you know, try it again, and this time it worked. <laughs> I finally got an encounter with the asteroid, uh, thankfully, and it didn't really take a lot of fuel. And there it is. Uh, it's really, like, hard to, <laughs> to, like, enter orbit around the asteroid, because any small movement you do changes your orbit drastically. Like, I know that's the point, because asteroids have, like, a very weak orbit, but, like, Steph, couldn't you at least make the gravity a little stronger in this one? I know it wouldn't make sense, but you could have just said that it's a very dense asteroid. And I guess time warping to, uh, oh, wait, no, we're still... Are we already in the sphere of influence of the asteroid? I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> well, I guess you guys know. I'm, I'm not really sure yet. Uh... Okay, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, because... <laughs> uh, he could have also made the... Uh, oh, yep, we definitely are. And we're now coming in for the landing. I don't know why I didn't just switch to a, uh, you know, non-map view for this. I, I thought I was, like, farther than the asteroid than I actually was. And there we go, we're now going for the landing. In real life, those solar panels would have totally shattered, but... Hooray! We landed on the asteroid, woohoo! But we're not leaving yet until we get that achievement saying we landed on the asteroid because it's very hard to get those achievements on low-gravity places like this. You have to, like, constantly keep the RCS button, like, held down, like the downward RCS button. You have to constantly hold it down in order for it to count as a landing because you know, or else it will just be floating like along the surface. And what I'm doing there is I'm entering a low orbit because as you might later see, it is very hard to re-enter the atmosphere with these new RCS physics. I don't know if it's just me or anybody else is having this problem, but now I feel like the RCS physics make this game more like space agency now, like a more you know, realistic version of Space Agency. I know it's like a sin to compare both of these games, but that's what I feel. And you might start noticing there that uh, I kinda, yeah. <laughs> the the RCS physics really make re-entry like harder than it used to be. But I mean, hey, I guess it's part of the challenge, right? Eh, <laughs> get it? Okay, anyway, we're now, uh, you know, landing and that's going to be the end of the video. I really hope you guys liked the video. Uh, all of my socials are in the description, blah, blah, blah. Please subscribe if you're new. And have a nice day, everybody. Oh, there's all of the challenges that completed. Bye!